Yo, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> this is Sully. Got a uh, quick pickup here. Um, I did the unboxing and all that stuff. I didn't. I didn't bother wasting time, wasting y'all's time doing that. So, as you can see, Allen Iverson logo. I picked up the Question Low R13s, US size 11. Man, super excited about this shoe. I have never owned one of the Iverson shoes. Um, I always thought they were dope. I just was, you know, it was one of those things I just never, never got one. So I saw these online recently and I had a coupon with Finish Line. So I thought I'd go ahead and just, you know, give it a shot and, and bring them in. So I have not taken the road ban off this yet. So I have no idea what I'm expecting except for, um, you know, what you see online. So I'll be looking at these for the first time with you. I thought that was pretty dope for Finish Line to uh, throw a rubber band on here. I don't think I've ever, I've ever seen them do that before. So look at that Finish Line added value gift. All right, paperwork always fun. And let's take a look at the shoes. Wow, these came with red laces. Are they supposed to come with red laces? I can swear. Okay, well, all right, cool. It comes with both. So. Let's take a look at these, man. These are nice. So, I guess I got these for like $65, $70, I think. So, maybe $70 bucks shipped. Beautiful color in hand. I don't know that the light in here isn't doing it justice, but. Very, very nice. It's got some weight, which is nice. Nice summer weight. That tumble's nice. Reebok always comes through with good quality on the. Ah, oh, what's that? <laughs> a little blemish right there. That's all right. Shit happens. Uh, that tumble is dope, though. I mean, that is. Oh yeah, I and mean, it smelled just like they did in the '90s, man. Remember when you bought shoes in the '90s and it just the, the box just stunk of glue and leather? That's what these shoes seem like. That's a pretty cool bottom. Uh, that ice is a little darker than I'm used to, but hey, that's gonna help keep these things um, fresh longer. Like I'd be, I'd be happy if Jordan Brand went this dark on the blue. I would not complain. I've gotten used to it. Like on the lasers, for the price I paid, I would have much rather had it this dark of a blue. So then at least you get maybe two, three years out of it. But um, yeah, stitching looks good. These don't look worn. I know. I know sometimes. Uh, Finish line will send you some worn shit from a store. The tent, the detail on this is nice too. Very clean. Uh, these, I guess, yeah, those hexalite pods. I think these are just for show. The ones on the side. I think the main one is still on the bottom. So, yeah, definitely a dope shoe. Great summer shoe. I love that it comes with white laces too. So. So you can do both, that's dope. That's nice, gonna do a little extra value. So let's take a look. Let's see if they got any other blemishes. Oh, look at that, a little divot right there. Come on, Reebok. Let's see, if I, was if I was a cynical motherfucker, I'd send that back, but you know what? It's cool. It is cool. So sorry guys, I sound so groggy. I was out late a little bit last night. I went and saw the uh, Straight Outta Compton movie at um, one of those uh, places that they serve beer and food at. I think I had a couple too many, so I'm a little groggy today. Definitely in the doghouse with the missus, but it's understandable, so, you know. Commit the crime, you do the time. All right, so let's see these bottoms. Man, that is nice. Yeah, I'm gonna wear these tomorrow. You know, so I don't know how many of you guys are picking these up or picking Iversons or, you know, you know, I know I primarily do videos on Jordans, but I do pick up, you know, uh, non-Jordan items as well. You know, um, you know, I got the the rest of the Reebok that I have, like the pumps, um, got some old, old school reverse jams. Uh, I got some Converse weapons. I like those. Um, you know, so, oh, and I love the AirTech Challenge, so I'm trying to get the green, the poison green versions. Uh, those are just dope, and that'll finish off the, the collection that I need, that I wanted to get for the um, AirTech Challenge. 
And now the AirTech Challenge 3 is coming out, or it already came out. So uh, it's a dope shoe, but I thought I'd share this video with you. Share my uh, my latest pickup. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it's something you think that you'd pick up or something that you'd pass on. But uh, I'll definitely put these on. Uh, maybe go out and take a couple jumpers in them, see how, how they fit. I know some of the reviews I've seen is that they say they're loose in the back and they wouldn't recommend balling in them. But man, like I said, I was raised in the 80s and 90s. And I balled in Walmart shoes, I balled in, in ponies, I balled in, you know, whatever I get my hands on, so. Why, tr why treat myself any better? Oh, by the way, I'm going to add this in here, I know it's not, not related. The queso, the queso, every year I buy my boys, the, well, the last three years, I buy my kids J's for the first day of school. You know, something that I really would have loved having as a kid. So that's, you know, I can afford it, so I do it. And... I didn't plan uh, well enough ahead this time, so I almost got them the, the new KDs. Uh, I thought they were dope, but I think they're like the kind of reddish ones. <sighs> so yeah, they're like a, like a fire red almost, light version. So we go to we go to the mall on tax week, tax free weekend, and Jesus Christ, it was just back. It was just packed, fucking just ridiculous. And we take them in there and we go to the kids' foot locker. We go to the regular foot locker. And all I could find was the KDs in my five year old size and in my seven year old size. And some funny shit was, it said, All right, we're going to go with it. So I asked them to bring me out an 11 because part of the tradition is I get the same shoe. So all three of us, we go rolling in with the same shoes on the first day of school. Corny, but something my kids hopefully will remember and, pay, and carry on the tradition. And hopefully, you know, you know, God willing, we're, we're in a position that we could do that for, you know, as long as they're in school. Uh, when they go to college, they get their own J's. Uh, so, try on the KDs. My, my sons are like, they love them. These are awesome. You know, the whole fly net and everything that comes with technology in the shoes. That's not what they're used to because I've been buying them Jordans and buying them like, like Reebok Zags. And so... I asked the lady for a size 11. She comes out. It was like a fucking boa constrictor on my foot. I could not believe how tight. And I was wearing a, a try-on sock because I was flip-flopping it that day. And it was one of those, you know, real paper-thin uh, try-on socks. That shoe was, it had like the kung fu grip around my foot. And I just brought a size 11 and a half out. It didn't matter. That shit was super tight. So we took them back. And halfway out the mall, we ran into a Champs, and fortunately, Champs had a, a pair of the the uh, Air Jordan Six Low infrareds, black and uh, black and yeah, infrared and blacks. The the lows that came out just a few months ago that I did pick up a size in my size, so I was able to get both their sizes. So, uh, long story short, all three of us are gonna be rolling in some uh, infrared Six Lows uh, in about ten days when school starts. So. So very, you know, it may not be the shoe of the summer, but I tell you, I've been wearing the hell out of it, and that shoe is comfortable as fuck. So, you know, I know the, you know, the, the quality of the leather and all that has been questioned, but I'm all man. It's shoes. It's a modern day era. You know, if you don't like them, then don't buy them. But hey, thank you guys for watching. Sorry it was too long. I know it's been a minute since I put a video out there. Uh, I appreciate all the comments and the likes you guys have been giving me and and the questions, and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Uh, uh, again, I'm grateful to have you guys as uh, watching me so hopefully they're still interesting if not give me a comment you know uh if there's something else that you want to see me do an interview on and then i'll do that all right well, you guys take care have a great weekend and i'm out